Namaste everyone, day four of the challenge. Um, today I'm doing a quick login. We're going to take action now. We have been observing so far and it has been extremely powerful for me because what I have been implementing is observing awareness, observing myself, self-awareness and um, and turning everything back at me. Anything that I'm observing externally, I turn the mirror back so that I can internalize things and just take action internally rather than observe things externally, if that makes sense. So, so far, observation has been uh, powerful because it just, it, it, it brings awareness, um, higher awareness, better awareness during my day and um, all the comments generally very few of you are um, discussing negativity um, in general negativity towards um, problems or political situation or stuff like this you are mostly uh, commenting with, about negativity towards your own self self-criticism uh, beating yourself down and so forth. So for the next few days, we're going to take action. Grab a journal and um, just uh, basically uh, uh, a pad, and you are going to write down um, five things you most admire about other people. Five qualities that you would put on this list down that you most admire about those people. And you're just gonna kind of see what you have written down and maybe you have those qualities or you can take actions to achieve those qualities. Just bring an awareness into that. Because if you are so self-critical, then we have to start exploring what are the things that you admire and you aspire towards. Or, or are you even take, aspiring, taking any action, or are you just stuck in a cycle of negativity and never even taking action towards you getting where you want to be. After that, you write what are five things I believe about myself. Um, so you will uh, basically describe yourself with five qualities. And after that, you will step back and look at what you've written down. Are those uh, just pour your heart out, of course. Are those five things that are just terrible about yourself? Just are, are you attaching to yourself just negative beliefs and negative qualities or maybe there is something positive in there and if it's something positive great something to uh, become even more aware of and uh, remind yourself that and if they're negative then you are bringing more awareness to that so once you become aware of something that's the first step to healing and changing now the action that we will take is uh, we are going to um, write five things in our life that we're grateful about. You can make it five things about your own qualities that you're grateful or who you are. Five things about who you are that you're grateful about. But feel free to just do about your life because gratitude is a muscle. If you don't exercise it, you lose it. Um, we strengthen it by exercising it and generally the happiest people on earth are not people that have a lot, are people that are grateful for what they have. So it is something that we constantly have to um, come back to. When you find yourself, now that you're more aware of your loops, negative loops and mental loops running, uh, when you st your mind starts to go into negativity and uh, mental loops, you are going to start expressing gratitude for the things you have in your life and for the person you've become or the person you are. So basically, be the driver in the seat of your mind, not just a passive uh, victim and your mind does whatever your mind wants to do and you're just there uh, as the victim of your mind. Take the wheel back and be the driver. Be the uh, Direct your mind. Your mind needs direction. So um, you will have to be aware of your mind which we've been doing so far and we'll continue doing it, it's a process, and start replacing negativity with gratitude. When your mind starts to go into, I'm not good enough, or 
this and that is uh, you start breaking yourself down shift it into what you're grateful about so that is um, the next step of our challenge we are going to replace negativity now for me uh, mine was not self beating down it was just not to <laughs> become so bummed out on society and humanity so I will replace that with uh, again gratitude and it works each and every time it works it uplifts me it makes me happy it makes me present it's amazing gratitude is just a magic formula um, and um, another person commented on that um, on that that social media has replaced uh, social uh, connection I don't know if that's true I'm sure to a big degree it is true but I still everybody in my life that I come in contact with it's still beautiful human beings so again it's another form of judgment that it's the same thing as being disappointed with society or with social media same thing replace it with gratitude try to become you more humane you warmer as a person you more giving as a person and that's the only thing we can do we can change ourselves we can better ourselves we can raise our awareness we can raise our consciousness and keep awakening and that's the only thing we can give to the world is our gift everything else is just bon a bonus but what we can do is we work on this so those are my thoughts for today um, another thing is when we're not aware of our mind uh, that we're just running on autopilot the entire day you know how sometimes you do something in your life you get somewhere or you buy something and then you realize how did I even ended up here how did I do this because sometimes you're an autopilot well the same thing can happen uh, yeah or, and it's happening with your mind when you're not aware not conscious is not, and not present your mind is doing its thing so we have to become more aware and more present and more grateful and the act of uh, gratitude and uh, and the act of awareness will make us more conscious more present more uh, ha happier and also we are going to t take charge back of uh, our thoughts and our from their actions intentions and so forth rather than we being the victim not only of other people but of our own mind and um, if um, things that have happened to you are uh, dictated or um, uh, defined by your childhood again you have to take control and responsibility full responsibility for everything that you are everything that you have become and everything you have gone through because if you don't have responsibility you remain the victim if you take responsibility that's the first step to being able to change something because you actually are in control if you are responsible for something that's when you can change it if you're the victim you can change it so full responsibility full forgiveness and moving forward um, though uh, this is my action for today which is uh, basically write those things down uh, and gratitude your exercise for gratitude is each time your my mind starts to run its program because that's an unconscious program that is just there is um, on repeat um, hope hope this is helpful let me know uh, how you're doing what changes you're observing uh, what aware, uh, what you're becoming more and more aware of I, I see that a lot of you are becoming just more aware of things that you didn't realize are there they're always there you just didn't know they're there so that's interesting and um, I'll see you soon with another update namaste